My name is Taylor Mack and my play is called Here. The title is a metaphor. The play is not really about gender and sometimes that confuses people but you know I often say it's like the goat or who is Sylvia is not about a man who has sex with a goat. The title um, is a third sex gender pronoun uh, that a lot of transgender people were using in the 90s. Um, a lot of people are creating their own, like my friend Justin Vivian Bond has created V and I use Judy as my gender pronoun. There's lots of different options, but I chose to go with the, the 90s one because it's pronounced here and um, I, I, I enjoy that, uh, that slight confusion um, and the duality of of something being about gender and also being about place. The prodigal son returns and everything is different. Isaac's sister is now his transgender sibling. His father, who ran the house with an iron fist, has had a stroke and is now debilitated. And his mother, who was a battered wife, is now in charge and thriving. All of that on the surface seems like it would be a good thing, but the play ultimately is about can he fit into it all? Can he change his expectations to fit into it? I think I'm always trying to tell, to, to figure out what I'm ignoring in the world and then to tell that story. Um, and often what I'm ignoring in the world, I, I notice other people are ignoring. I wanted to tell the story of progressive responsibility. We often uh, get so wrapped up in, um, in how things should be that we, we don't often consider uh, what the casualties are. I grew up in this small town, that, it's not a small town, a small city that, that was really dysfunctional. I wanted nothing more than to get out. Because of my queerness, I felt like I was able to get out. And so many people like me would always leave. Um, I have all these friends that are wonderful activists in the world, but they've, um, they've, they're all living in New York City. <laughs> And San Francisco, the Bay Area, where all the progressives and the liberals are, because it's more fun and more interesting. But meanwhile, then the rest of the country just kind of exists in this cesspool. <laughs> so, so I w I've always kind of thought, what's my responsibility towards trying to make that world better? Do I have one? Do I let them just uh, live in their juices? But at, I mean, at the at the same time, I was a kid and I wanted somebody to come and help me in that environment.